morning. Good morning. And a very, very warm welcome to our Christmas service on in 2020, which is being led by our minister, Reverend David Barnes. I've said the wrong name. <laughs> and a special welcome. I don't think you're really busy, but it's lovely to see Lee and Hannah with us this morning. Now, a reminder when you leave, I should have given you all a little red card to put on your seat when you leave. As soon as the service is finished, Andrew will bring one round to give to people. And that means, because we shall have to have um, dear Rosalind coming in to just clean, clean and sanitise them. So just put this red card on the seat, then she's only got a few to do. And then, just a reminder, there's not many of you, but we do really need to keep to the rules. So as the service is finished, go out as we have done, through the back, and then if you do want to chat, do it outside. And then it keeps everybody apart until then. Um, the other thing that we didn't, weren't told last week is the offering today, as it's Christmas Day, is going to go to the Chestnut Tree House for the children. So if you want to bring some on Sunday or have enough, you could do it again then if you'd like to. And um, yeah, on Sunday we will be meeting again and David's message will be Stephen and Wenceslas, men who gave themselves so I hope in three days' time we will be here again to meet. Thank you very much. No. See, it's Christmas Day, I'm getting things wrong. I've got one more thing to do and say, and then Thomas will come up and light the Christmas candle. We have good news of great joy for all the people. This day is born a saviour. He is Christ the Lord. And we're going to light the Christ candle at Christmas 2020 to celebrate the light that shines in the darkness mm. and the darkness which I never put it out. Mm. And I'm just going to say something. Andrew came down this morning early to put the heating on and when he came in the church he thought somebody's left a light on. But do you know what it was? And because nobody's usually coming here at half past eight in the morning, but the light was streaming in on that wall, and it was absolutely beautiful, he said. And now we're going to have the final candle there. Thank you, Thomas. Well, first of all, welcome everyone. And we're going to uh, begin just with a, a prayer of thanking God for all that He has given us and uh, to Him. Lord, we thank you for every good gift, for every blessing we have in this life, every material blessing and benefit. Most of all, we, have, we thank you for all the blessings we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, we now bring these gifts to you and pray you might bless them uh, for the use of Chestnut, Chestnut Tree House. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to worship, uh, well, actually, if I can have some volunteers, as we do at the moment, uh, to help sing uh, the Carol O Little Town of Bethlehem.
today is Christmas Day and we celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. God himself come to be with us. We see the greatness and majesty of the Creator, yet also he is the shepherd who has come to save. We see this greatness and love in this baby born in Bethlehem. Uh, Titus 2, 11 says this, The grace of God has dawned on the world with healing for all mankind. In John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. O God of peace, you fill our hearts with hope at every Christmas time. For we remember again that this is the world that you have loved, May that hope, peace and joy fill our hearts today. Amen. 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 Well, we're going, uh, going to sing again. I need my, need my volunteers again. <laughs> uh, we're going, um, the volunteers are right, going to sing, come and join the celebration. Uh, but do concentrate and look at the words. Righteousness 
from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Well, let us pray. Lord and giver of all good things, the Magi travelled for miles to bring the Christ child the first Christmas presents. So may we too remember with thankful hearts the love that comes with each present we open. We also thank you for the love you have uh, for each of us, and we thank you for the many gifts that you give us, especially the gift of life itself. Lord, I thank you for coming to earth so you could redeem me. When I think of the extent to which you were willing to go in order to save me, it makes me want to shout, to celebrate, and to cry with thankfulness. You love me so much, and I am so grateful for that love. Without you, I would still be lost and in sin. But because of everything you have done for me, today I am free. My life is blessed. Jesus is my Lord, heaven is my home, and Satan has no right to control me. I will be eternally thankful to you for everything you did to save me. I pray this in Jesus' name. This is a prayer by Renner. And then this is a, a prayer I thought by Howard Thurman. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with the flocks, then the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal those broken in spirit, to feed the hungry, to release the oppressed, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among all peoples, to make a little music with the heart, and to radiate the light of Christ every day, in every way, in all that we do and in all that we say. Mm. Then the work of Christmas begins. Mm. Well, we're going to listen to a recording of uh, the well-known Carol of Holly and the Ivy. And again, if you would like to uh, meditate on the words, and we'll, we'll all just listen to this uh, recording.
Now, the holly tree is called the holy tree because when all other trees have left, lost their leaves in the dark time of year, the holly remains evergreen. And the holly bears a crown. And this reminds us of the crown of thorns and the prickles that later soldiers would force a crown of thorns upon Jesus' head before his, before his crucifixion. But the crown of thorns is for the Prince of Peace. He gave himself to heal and to bless, but he received hatred and violence in return. Now the holly bears a blossom as white as any milk or flower, and the blossom comes first. Through the prophecy and promise of the Messiah, unto you a child is born. Jesus was born to us as our Saviour. And he is the perfect Saviour. He is the pure and spotless Lamb. He is the one who is the righteous, who dies for the unrighteous. And here we have the berries, as red as any blood. And Jesus shed his blood on the cross for us. His was an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Just as the destroying angel passed over those Israelites who had painted their doors with the blood of a lamb, so to those who put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ are covered by his blood. They are spared judgment, accepted by God, and enter into life. <clears throat> and the carol mentions the rising of the sun yellow bag here, the rising of the sun. And when Joseph and Mary took the baby Jesus to the temple, Simeon said uh, uh, of Jesus that he is the rising sun come to us from heaven. The rising sun come to us from heaven. Jesus is God with us and he brings his light into our darkness into the darkness of our selfishness and lust and greed. And he is willing to, well, he shows us his great love for God, the Father, and for others, and compassion. And he's willing to give us the Holy Spirit. So we show the fruit of the Spirit of joy and peace and patience and long-suffering and so forth. But also when we think about the conflicts, in, even within our families or between individuals, within nations, across nations, but Jesus is the one who leads us into the paths of peace. He is the Prince of Peace. And also the darkness of when we put our trust just in what human beings say. Even though we're limited, we speculate. Um, but we do not have the big answers to the questions of life. Like who we are, what, what our meaning and purpose is, and what happens after death. We do not know those things. But Jesus who is God, come to us, reveals the truth of these six. He is the one who is the light of the world. He is the rising sun come to earth. He is the rising sun come to heaven, come from heaven to earth, to scatter our darkness. And finally, the holly bears a bark as bitter as any gall. And when the wise men visited the baby Jesus, one of them brought myrrh, which was 
a gift that represented the bitterness of the death that Jesus would go through later in his life, of course. The bitterness of death. And apparently with the bark of the holly, it's very dark, but underneath it's white. There's white wood. And that's a good picture for us because Christ tasted bitterness, but he turned it to sweetness. He tasted bitterness, but turned it to sweetness. So we think of his unjust trials before the Sanhedrin and before Pilate. Uh, and yet God vindicated Christ. And then we think of the hatred and violence against Jesus, leading to his crucifixion, the torture there. But through it all, he was bringing us salvation and bringing us forgiveness, even forgiveness for those who had so abused him. And he does the same today for those who have shut their mind against God and against Christ, who hate him for no reason. Yet he still offers them forgiveness, turning a bitterness to sweetness. And supremely, of course, the bitterness of burial, people mourned Christ. And we mourn loved ones who die. But Christ even turns that bitterness to sweetness because he was raised and he is alive and ascended and he is bringing many people to a knowledge of himself. And then one day those who put their faith in him would also be raised to newness of life. So Jesus traded bitterness for joy. And the scripture says it was for the joy set before him that Jesus endured the cross and scorned its shame and sat down at the right hand of God. Mm. Praise God. Mm. Well, I wonder if I could have um, those volunteers again, please. That would be lovely. Mm. And uh, we're going to meditate on the words of the well-known carol there. It's our final carol, Silent Night. Let's read to you the last verse. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light. Radiant beams from thy holy face, with dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth.
father of the shepherds, the peace of the Christ child, fill your hearts this Christmas time, and the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen. 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 And a happy Christmas to you all. Thank you.